A long time ago, in the very, very present, humans and everything else coexisted peacefully. But humans didn't like the bacteria and wanted to kill them all. And so, they produced many different types of beta-lactin antibiotics like penicillin. Bacterial cell walls are made of peptidoglycan monomers that are cross-linked together in a process catalyzed by penicillin binding proteins, also known as PBP. In the presence of a penicillin antibiotic, the reactive serine in the center of PBP will covalently bind to penicillin. This changes PBP's shape. Like any protein, a change in shape changes its function. For PBP can no longer cross-link the monomers. A hole is left in the cell wall of the bacteria from which water can enter the bacteria and drown it. Here is Toby. Toby is a bacteria who naturally lived on his human host, but then antibiotics came. His people accepted the slaughter, but soon the overuse led to a resistance. He became the infamous superbug, MRSA, who causes staph infections that potentially lead to detrimental health concerns, posing him as a dangerous foe. He armed himself with the beta-lactamase, an enzyme that hydrolyzes the beta-lactam ring of antibiotics to inactivate their powers. But that wasn't just any beta-lactamase, it was the ultimate enzyme New Delhi Metals beta-lactamase. He strives to be like the interior bacteria, say. Superbugs resistant to the strongest beta-lactam antibiotics, carbapenems, and they use this enzyme to ruin them. To this day, scientists are still trying to figure out ways to defeat them. So what's our answer to superbugs? At the moment, not much. As antibiotics continue to become less effective, the interest in studying antibiotics hasn't risen to meet the demand to find a cure to superbugs. So what can you do at home to help? You should always try to naturally fight off infections instead of rushing to antibiotics. You can also not foster superbugs by not using antibacterial products.